Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, Mid Journey just came out with a new version today. It is the MJ version 5.1. So, what we're going to be doing today is comparing my prompts from version 5 when it first came out. Actually, if you want to check out the video, it's right here. Mid Journey V5 is out now. So, this is going to be what we're going to be comparing to. Because aside for the fingers, I was actually pretty impressed with this. So I have the exact same prompt. And I have here in mid-journey, I went ahead and signed up for it for a month. And let's go ahead and try it out. First things first, if you go to settings, as you can see right here, if you don't know how to do that, just go to settings. It's going to open up your personal settings right here. Click on MJ version 5.1. So that's going to be enabled. And I'm going to copy and paste that. Realistic, attractive, cyberpunk asian girl sitting good lord sitting on a chair full face close up 85 mil cinematic lighting i don't need that because it's already gonna know it's 5.1 dash dash q2 all right so let's check this out this is a live gen right here um let's see what happens all right so that's finished let's take a look oh that's kind of strange because Photorealistic wise, I feel like V5 looks a little bit more realistic. So let me open this in browser so we can see it. I mean, her finger is still jacked up. She's, this one is good. No, it's not because she got that extra half finger. I don't know. I feel like I like I like V5 better than V1. Let me know in the comments below what you'll think, but I'm looking at it right now. Obviously, I just generated this. I didn't this is my first gen in V5. All right, so there is another setting whenever you enable 5.1 that came out, which is the raw mode. So if I select 5.1 right here, you're going to see that we have now this next option. So I'll click raw mode and I will copy and paste this same exact prompt. All right, so here we are with the style raw. Now this looks a lot more photorealistic than the non-raw version. Yeah. Okay, most definitely. Like, honestly, these three girls could pass for a real person. It, and another thing that I am noticing here, it is much sharper also. So let's pick, I think I'm going to, let's see which one we can kind of upscale here. Because this one looks kind of, yeah, this is sharp as heck. So she got five fingers there. So they're really getting better with that. Oh, it's pretty good. She's still kind of messed up. But let's see. Let me go back in here. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll press this one so we can take a look at it a little bit closer. So here we go. Open in browser. Yeah, that looks a lot sharper. And honestly, again, one of the things that I use my journey for is just some lighting, you know, ideas because this cold steel blue light and warm foreground that's a nice combination that looks that looks great so let, let's let's generate some more you know non cyberpunk if you will so so again with just remember with cyberpunk it is a little bit hard to find references because we only have well blade runner blade runner 2 Cyberpunk 2077, I'm so glad that's out because we can look for references when it comes to cyberpunk. So now you're looking at hair. If you're an artist, groom hair person, outfit creator, look at these outfit. Those are dope. Hair, if you're a groom artist, hair, meta humans, eventually, hopefully we get some cool hair like that. Makeup artist, if you're a makeup artist and you're looking for ideas for cyberpunk makeup, it's crazy, man. Realistic, attractive woman standing in the middle of the forest, full face close up. Kind of jacked it up right here. 
So yeah, looking at this up close, this is like something that a photographer could take. I mean, none of these people are real. Let that sink in for a second, right? I mean, can you imagine a world where one day when we can actually 3D print these, right? And like give them a name like T800. And then you put chat GPT in there. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what y'all think. I'll see you on the next one.